Okay, so uh, here we are in my, in my basement shop this time, also known as my utility room. And I'm actually set up for, yet again, more wheel speed uh, sensing uh, um, investigation and, uh, and wheel hub. I know people are, for the few people who do actually take an interest in this stuff, they're probably sick of hearing me talking about it. But uh, just a quick shot from the manual again with the actual setup. There's my practical setup on the bench with my, and my jumpers and my resistor. But uh, you can check out the link to the other part that explains this in more detail. That's not the focus of this. You can see here I actually have a hub on the bench. This is a, this hub, the bearing is gone, but the wheel speed sensor is good. So what I'm going to do is uh, get a baseline on my picoscope this time and show you what a good one looks like as opposed to a bad one. So let me just toggle to the picoscope. So I've actually got it set up on uh, the scales are actually set up, hopefully you can see them there, I hope you can. Um, set up on uh, two volts, plus or minus two volts, and uh, a 200 millisecond per division uh, time base. I uh, hope you can see that, can you see that? Let me lift you up just a wee touch. There you go, that makes a bit more sense. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, uh, what I'm doing is just rotating the hub here you can see the leads are uh, on the back side of the connector there. I'm set up as per the schematic there that I showed you just a wee bit earlier. <clears throat> so I'm just slowly rotating the wheel here. So there you can see. I'll try and that's a consistent rotation. You can see the, the pulses are, are evenly spaced. And then of course, if I speed it up, of course, it'll compress the, the pulses completely dependent on the speed. That's the whole point of the wheel speed sensor. And uh, I believe it, which is a Hall effect sensor type within the assembly itself. Let me just bring in some measurements here. Let me get on the high side. So there's the high side. Beauty of the picoscope is, of course, you can bring in measurements easily. So there's the first reference. And I'll drop it to the low side. And again can easily bring in a second measurement there. So you can see we've got a high of uh, 1.7 volts or uh, 1720 millivolts, let's call it, and uh, 875 millivolts on the low side. <clears throat> and it will go between those two cursors, as you can see. So as I said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this hub from a wheel speed uh, sensing standpoint. It was changed because the bearing is gone. So now what I'm going to do is uh, flip in my wheel speed, my, my wheel hub that has the bad wheel speed sensor and I'll show you the difference between the two. Okay, so exact same setup here fellas or ladies, completely non-sexist, this channel you know. Um, the, you can see I've got the, uh, the connector on the, the uh, wheel speed sensor of it actually back probed. That is polarity sensitive, make sure you get it right. There is a warning in the uh, manual that cautions you that you will damage the uh, sensor if you connect it incorrectly. And you can see right out of the gate, we already have a big problem. Let me get rid of these measurements because they're really going to be irrelevant because of the mess of the signal. You can see we've got a mess before we even start. So as I said, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this hub from a bearing standpoint. The reason I changed it is the timing was incredible. Basically, right after I changed the right-hand side on my car, I had an issue that failed the left-hand wheel speed sensor. I hooked up my scan tool and showed enough. There was, apart from the uh, the ABS, the uh, electronic stability program, and the um, the four-wheel drive auto light actually flashing, um, I guess there'd be an issue with the, likely be an issue with the traction control as well on the car, although that light wasn't on, strangely enough. Um, like, literally, two days later, I've got a problem with a wheel speed sensor on the other hub. You can actually see the disaster of the signal that is supposedly the wheel speed sensing on this. There is... Still, uh, you can see there is the encoder function is actually still operating, but you can see because of the amount of noise on the signal itself is, is the, the signal's a wreck compared to the serviceable uh, hub that I just showed you a short time ago. And now it's actually gone over voltage. Let me change the scale here. Oh, there is kind of coming back. So you can see it's, it's, it's all over the place. It's just a mess. Uh, as far as the signal quality is concerned. So n no wonder that the ABS module actually failed the wheel speed sensor uh, because of it. I can assure you this will be the last hub and wheel speed sensing uh, uh, video on the issue. 
I think I've beat this one to death, so... Um... Okay, here's a wee bit of, uh, as Ivan would call it, bonus footage here. Um, since my original video showing you the uh, wheel speed sensor uh, signal uh, was actually done on my Vantage here, uh, you can see that I actually, uh, when I was out in the garage and the hub was still on the car, I was using the Vantage, just a wee bit more portable than the, uh, than the uh, Pico, although it certainly can't compete with the quality of the image. Um, you can see even the Vantage could easily pick up the, the noise on that signal and uh, that's what it looked like. I took a snapshot of it so I could actually uh, play it back for the sake of uh, comparison to the original uh, video when we done it uh, back a couple of weeks ago, whatever it was. Okay, that's it this time. Right, cheers.